Got it. Welcome. This is Ben from Connecticut Local. And today we're here with Lena. She has an art school that teaches painting in Seymour, close to Bridgeport and New Haven. Lena, thank you for taking time today to talk with us. So maybe tell us a little bit about your art studio. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, this is my art studio. It's located in Seymour, Connecticut, right off the main road in the Antique District. Um, I opened about six months ago. Uh, I teach people how to paint and I teach people of all ages. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of our classes take place on the weekends because I am still a student. I'm working on getting my degree in art education. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. I just love to paint. So I opened a space to teach others how to paint. Uh, yeah. And come in and enjoy a fun time. We do date nights. We do uh, mommy and me classes on Saturday and Sunday mornings. We mm -hmm. do wine glass painting, candle making, we paint birdhouses, tons of stuff. Tons mm -hmm. of stuff. Awesome. And how long have you been painting for? I have been painting since I was 11 and I'm about 26 now. Wow. So that's for 15 years. Just about, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you just told me about uh, types like uh, for couples and do you also do paintings for children? Like what types of events do you do? So on Saturdays and Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., I do mommy or daddy and me classes. Oh, yeah. We have a little bit more of a simplified painting like the one you see behind me here. Mm -hmm. um, and we teach both mom or dad and baby how to make a painting. And oftentimes they connect. So mm -hmm. this sunflower would actually have another sunflower on the other side. And it would end up being a half of a sunflower for when mommy and me go home and hang the paintings on the wall. Mm -hmm. we have face paint events. We've been booked on and off site many times over the summer to do face paint for kids and adults. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so you also do it on other people's location for like party or something? Yep, I do uh -huh. traveling stuff as well, not just in the studio. I go out and about all the time. Okay, okay. So, and there are many people that never start something like painting because they think they are bad at it, like I thought. So, what's something that you have to say about that? So, um, every time somebody says that they're bad at art or they're not creative, yeah. I always freak out because everyone's always creative in their own way. It's just like calling somebody stupid. They may be stupid in that subject, mm -hmm. but they're not going to be stupid in another. Yeah. So oftentimes I like to tell people that it requires absolutely no creativity and no talent to be able to paint anything that I teach here. Um, I teach paintings in a step-by-step -step manner. Um, most of them are one to 35 steps. And I literally go through each step once, twice, three times, as many times as I need to. I often walk around the classroom and help people out as well. And I show you brush techniques, all that kind of stuff. Wow. And how long does it take then for someone to go from, you know, thinking he's bad at art to think like, hey, I can actually do this. I can create beautiful paintings. Normally, it takes the whole class for someone to say, wow, I like this painting, because oftentimes people, um, they expect results instantly and they think that, oh, my art is looking terrible mm -hmm. right now. And at the end, it's going to remain terrible. And that's not. Yeah. The choice. Mm -hmm. I'm always helping people fix their mistakes. I'm always helping people with anything that they don't understand why we're painting. Um, and yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have this painting behind me. I didn't paint it, a friend of mine did. Um, but this is definitely definitely motivating to me to, uh, to start painting as well a little bit. Uh, last year I got a painting um, sheet from my mom might as well start using it so um next question was what was it that really uh, made you want to start this art studio and you know instead of doing something else um <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just a passion it's it's a lot it's um owning a business was actually a goal of mine since i was a small child and yeah that and um having art and education involved in that and being able to be part of the community here in Seymour has been truly, truly a blessing. And I mean, I opened the studio in May with hopes of exactly what's happening now, right? Mm -hmm. Where um, 
it's not super busy. I'm not going crazy, but it's also really great having people in here every weekend, getting my name out there. Um, we actually also are starting a mural in Seymour. Um, it's about Mother Earth, and we're very excited about that. And I mean, I don't know, I opened the studio um, with a lot of help from my family. And I opened it pretty much by myself other than that. Wow. So, um, I had a lot of a lot of support. And it was a lot of hard work. But I quite literally am in a building right now that was built in the early 1800s. It's a beautiful building. It's been separated off into other spaces. And there's a restaurant around the corner. And the owner of the building runs that restaurant. So I literally for months was going into that restaurant like once or twice a week, just bugging him for this space because it was empty for a long time. And uh -huh. the day before my birthday in March, he said, can you open in six weeks? And I said, you got it. And I uh -huh. came here literally the night before my birthday and started cleaning and ripping out carpet and painting and doing everything I needed to do so that we could open in six weeks. So it was wow. a crazy adventure. And now we're six months into it. And it's just truly a blessing. I'm very proud. Wow. That's such an amazing story to hear. So and what have been some of your biggest challenging uh, challenges then along you know, along the way, along the journey? And what um, did you learn from it? So uh, I've learned like a lot since I've opened this space. But one big <laughs> challenge for me was the, the accounting aspect of opening this space. I have no idea. Like I could manage my own money just fine, but I don't understand how to manage a business and pay taxes mm -hmm. and all this crazy stuff. Yeah. So that was another thing that was really, really great for me to find an awesome accountant. She's a uh, Juma juma accounting solutions out of waterbury connecticut she's amazing she's also another small business mm -hmm. um but other than that i mean my biggest challenge really was getting the space set up and having having people come in that aren't my family and friends like tonight actually we're having our first paint and sip where i did not recognize the names that signed up so it was very cool. I've had a lot of family and friends coming in, people I know. And tonight's the first night where it's not people I know. So my advertisements are reaching somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So what, what do you do to, you know, get your name out there? So I post mostly on Facebook and Instagram. I use social media. And also I'm a big talker. I literally stop people on the street and hand them business cards. I do whatever yeah. I can to get my name out there and I may seem like a crazy person walking up to people on the street but that's okay it's okay <laughs> right and prior to this I was um I was also teaching at another studio like this one and uh a lot of the people from there kind of came here with me um as well as uh one other thing that completely escaped my mind oh I also um, work for a graphic design company. Mm -hmm. I did graphic design prior to opening to the studio and I still do it. So my undergrad is in. So um, I was doing a lot of graphic design prior to this. So a lot of people knew me from that. And I also do a lot of commissioned paintings of people and animals and landscapes and whatever else that you could ever dream of. Um, so I already kind of had a little bit of a following before I opened, um, but I do like boost my posts on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. Just give them like a dollar fifty, and they they boost your post out. To yeah. Me. So mm -hmm. it's yeah, and what also works is you know going into these large Facebook groups and you know post about it like I did, and that way you get you know uh, lost in one one day. We have so many people sign up for the interview, and it's it's great and. Uh, it's a very effective way and also um one thing is like doing flyers you know maybe 20 years ago it was common but now nobody's doing it anymore so yeah. now you you're special when you do that and people will actually read it exactly mm -hmm. so final question if someone had to choose between you and they were looking at you know 
one or two other uh, painting uh, teachers, what would make you different from them? Like what makes you stand out? Um, not only do I have a wonderful personality and yeah. people laugh when they're here, mm -hmm. um, I also offer uh, more teaching abilities. I go to school for education. So I'm learning now how to teach people properly. Um, I often, prior to opening this location, researched how to be an educator. Um, I'm very big into social justice. So it's, it's, uh, that's another thing that I like to bring up to people is that I'm more of a, a safe space for people to come to and be open about who they are and what they would like to do. Um, for my adult classes, it literally counts also as a comedy show because um, I crack jokes up there and make people laugh all night. And it's very fun. It's not just a place to come and paint. It's a place to come and have fun, right? Yeah. Um, and oftentimes before I opened the studio, I was traveling around Connecticut and going to all different paint and sip studios and seeing how other people work and how other teachers teach and all this craziness. And um, one thing I noticed that really stands out for me is that I have a lot of patience with people and not a lot of times when these uh, people are teaching in these paint and sip studios, they don't have patience. They don't care about your painting. They don't care if you go home happy with the painting. Mm -hmm about being paid and I'm one of those people that wants you to be happy so I don't want you to leave here upset with me or your mm -hmm. artwork I want you to actually go home and hang this on the wall so wow one thing that makes me stand out well that's that's a lot of things that make you stand out and <laughs> you know I also feel your energy and you know it, I definitely recommend you know choosing you over the others thank you mm -hmm. so yeah, thank you for coming on the interview here. This um, th this already was it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you. See you.